you're awake. You and I have so much to talk about. Who are you? Uh, my name is Reva Shane. Well, were we friends? That's right. We were very good friends. Well, good. Good. Thank you very much for coming by. There isn't any place else I'd be right now. I want to help you remember everything. Well, I must have had good taste. What do you mean? In friends. I think I had good friends. Oh, well, you had... have lots of friends. That's good. This must be so weird for you. I mean, it's almost like you're a stranger to yourself. Yeah, it's like being a kid. You see everything for the first time, except I'm not a kid. People know me, and I had a life, but... I can't remember, but I know I've lost something, and it's... It gets really frustrating. It's okay. It's going to take some time, but you will get better. <laughs> well, I sure hope so. I know I shouldn't complain. They say I'm lucky I'm alive. And people have been real nice, especially Josh. And Sonny. Right, Josh's wife. And your business partner. Well, what about you? What do you mean? Well, were you a patient of mine? <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no. <laughs> I met you through Josh. So you and Josh are good friends? We grew up together. Are you very close? We've known each other all our lives. Well, how long have we known each other? <laughs> Just since you've been in Springfield. I bet that's for you. <laughs> well. <laughs> Hello? Uh, yeah, Will, it's Josh. How you doing? Josh, I'm fine, thanks. Listen, thanks for the present. What present? Well, there's a beautiful blonde sitting here next to me, keeping me company. A blonde? Oh, oh, I see. Then, then obviously you haven't forgotten everything. Uh, you always did have a soft spot in your heart for Mindy. But it's not... Well, yeah, I know, I know. Just, just... Know that she means well and don't let her push you around too much, okay? Oh, no, I'm, I'm glad just to have the company. Yeah, well, I, I should be back sooner than I thought I would be. Um, things didn't go very well here. I'm in Boston, and Mrs. Ibarra's not here, and nobody seems to know where she is. Oh, well, uh, thanks for trying. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Um, listen, I'll be flying back as soon as I can, and I'll check in when I get there. Okay, uh, I'll see you when you get here. All right, bye-bye. Thanks. What's wrong? Uh, we had a lead. Uh, I remember the name Ibarra. Apparently, that was the name of a woman that I knew when I was in school. And Josh went to find her, but when he got there, she was gone. Does he know where? That's strange. No stranger than anything else that's happened. My God, I am getting sick of this hospital. <laughs> oh, they must have fed you recently. <laughs> the food is the best part about being here. <laughs> you are sick of it, then. I need to be around people I know. New. <laughs> I feel like I'm stuck here. Nothing changes it. Well, maybe we can do something about that. Rusty. Hi, Lillian. You on duty or off duty? Uh, somewhere in between. I came by to check on Will Jeffries. Well, he just seems to be doing good. His memory coming back? No, he just had that one word, Ibarra. That I know. Now, Josh went out of town to check it out. That's all he has to work on, though. So Josh is doing investigative work on his own. Well, the Lewises are acting on behalf of Will. The matter if he put 
Mindy in charge in case there are any decisions that had to be made. Well, well isn't Dr. Jeffries being well taken care of? He doesn't need any stress at a time like this. Can he have any visitors? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we're visiting with him right now. Oh. 